As Jesus concluded his earthly ministry, he gave us what's called the Great Commission. He, Jesus, said to them, go into all the world, not a part of the world, but all the world, and do what? Preach the gospel again to all. Notice this inclusive statement, to all the world, to all creation. Again, before Jesus ascended back to the right hand of God, he gives us this command in Acts chapter 1. Again, it's the part of the good, great commission. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. John the Apostle speaks of what he saw in heaven in his great revelation. And notice how he describes around the throne of God in Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 and 10. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. What were they doing? Here we see, and they cried out in a loud voice, salvation belongs to not my God, but our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Please remember that everybody needs Jesus, and Jesus is not just an American God. Jesus is the Savior of the entire world. And one of the things that I love, one of the things that I love and appreciate about our church is the fact that in our church we have over a hundred different nations in this church. A hundred different nations in this church. We live in one of the most diverse areas in the world, right here in the D.C., the DMV, the metropolitan D.C. area. And you know what brings us all together? There's only one thing that could bring all of us together from all of our different backgrounds, and all of our different cultures, and all of our different idiosyncrasies, and all of our different preferences, and all the different things that make us up as different groups of people. There's only one thing, one person that can bring us together as he does in the same room, and that's Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer. He's the Savior of the whole world. Everybody needs Jesus, no matter if you're wealthy or you're poor or you're educated or uneducated, no matter if you feel strong or whether you feel weak or whether you feel like you're having a fairly good life or you're going through a bad kind of life, no matter who you are, everybody needs Jesus. We all desperately need him. 